modify a GUI component. Until now, we just analyzed the contents in this sample project. You learned what bricks are and how to navigate in the project. In the next steps, you will learn how to modify the existing GUI component selection dialog. In the top left corner of the canvas area, you will see a simple text label. Click on it to select the corresponding member. Now the text label appears surrounded by a thin dotted border. The corners of the border appear as small squares. We call it selection frame and with it you can move and resize the text view. At the same time the inspector highlights the corresponding member caption as selected and you can see that the text label is an object of the mosaic class fuse text. It is a view, a primitive visual component. Now let's resize the text view to fill the entire width of the canvas area. To do so, click on the bottom right corner of the selected text view and drag the corner accordingly. Keep the text view selected and take a look in the inspector window for the view's property font. Now click on the property font to select it. Then on the right hand side of the selected property, click on the small arrow icon to open the so-called assistant window. Assistant windows are convenient tools to easily select the adequate value when modifying a property or attribute. While working with Embedded Wizard, you will use them very often. In this specific case, the assistant is intended to list all font resources which are available in the project. While we analyze the contents of the unit application, you saw there the brick small font. The function of this member is to store font information. Now you will see exact this member listed in the assistant window. Because the corresponding item is highlighted, the text view is actually using this font. In other words, the text you see in canvas is drawn with this font. Now, let's assume that this is not the font we want to use for the caption. The caption should appear with a bigger font, application big font. How to achieve that? In the assistant window, double click on the item application big font to select it. Thereupon, the new font name appears in the property font and the size of the text displayed in the canvas area changes. The text is now big enough. Now, look in the inspector window for the text views property called string. Click on the property and enter the text espresso surrounded by double quote signs. These are part of the expression. Now confirm your modification by pressing enter on your keyboard and now you can see the new text espresso displayed in the canvas area. As next, let's select the background image view. There are two ways to do this. You can click in the inspector window on the corresponding member background image or directly in the corresponding view on the canvas area. Now that you have selected the image view, look for the view's property bitmap. On the right hand of the property, click on the small arrow icon to open the associated assistant window. Now enter the text back. This text serves as a filter for the items shown in the assistant window. Now only the items containing back in the name are displayed. The image view, as the name implies, is intended to display images. As we analyze the content of the unit application, we explain the brick background beans. The function of this member is to store image information. Now you see this member listed in the assistant window. However, the image view is currently using the bitmap resource application background cup, which is not what we expect here. We want the image to display the bitmap resource background beans. For this purpose, double click on the item application background beans to select it as a new resource for the image view. Thereupon, the new bitmap name appears in the property bitmap and the image displayed in the canvas area changes. Instead of the cup, now you see coffee beans.